What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm using a Gouging Fire Ting Lu Gyarados Registeel team? There's too many cool things on this team. I don't know which one's gonna be on the thumbnail. Anyway, this team was made by Chawarzard. I saw it in the Pokesports Discord. Chawarzard makes great teams, so I know this is a great team, and it has so many cool things on it. Clear Amulet Ting Lu is probably the way to run Ting Lu in this meta. Uh, support Gyarados is pretty standard. Registeel is something I haven't used much yet, and I love it. Uh, and then Gouging Fire. It's a speed booster energy Gouging Fire to set up Howls. Ting Lu can take big advantage of that, and also Rillaboom and Gyarados, and Gouging Fire itself. It also has Breaking Swipe and Burning Bulwark, which is its cool Burning Protect move. I love it. Anyways, I'm super excited to play this team, so let's get on to some battles. Okay, we're fighting Water Ogre Pond, Primarina, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Triple Starters, cool. Bax Calibur, and Raging Bolt. How do we want to take this on? Is Ting Lu... Terra po okay, it's Terra Poison. That seems pretty good here. It would have to be the Terra, though. Rillaboom, okay. What is their Fluttermane answer, honestly? I guess it's Rillaboom? Fluttermane seems like it can do a ton of damage, though. And Registeel... Not the worst. Not the worst, honestly. Raging Bolt is a little scary. Especially with Terra Water. I want to go Fire and Ting Lu. I definitely want to do that. I think that's a really good start. Fluttermane in the back could do some big damage, help us clean up. And then the last. I, it's not a Registeel game. Gyarados' Intimidate could be really nice. So could Rillaboom's healing. There's a couple things Rillaboom can't touch. I think it's Gyarados. I think it's actually Rillaboom. Okay, I made it. <laughs> I guess I'm too afraid of the Raging Bolt. I, I think maybe I'm putting too much stock in them bringing Bolt when I have a Ting Lu, which Bolt does not want to see. No trainer card, boo! Boo them. Max Caliber and Primarina. Okay. Well, that's why we brought Terastalization. The real question I have, though, is that Bax Caliber clear amulet? Because I could pretty easily go to Gyarados or use Breaking Swipe on it, just to weaken it up a bit. But then who's the bigger threat? Oh no, I didn't bring Gyarados the last second. Okay. Uh, breaking Swipe is an option. Howl is an option. Kind of like Breaking Swipe, Terra, and then I guess Heavy Slam into the backs. I assume that's max damage. I think that's what I'm going with. I'm going to disrespect the Primarina a little bit. And they're going for a Terra right away. It's, it's their backs. It's a Poison. Okay. Not the worst thing in the world. I'm not going to get the KO. That's for sure. But as long as you're not clear amulet, I'm going to get the attack drop. Of course, it is going to be clear amulet. Just do light. I love, I love Ting Lu with Terra Poison. It's like in the cup. And, it, and, it, and it's toxic. And it's the, I love it. Show me a drop. No drop. Oh, and they dragon dance. Oh, that's scary. That's terrifying. Oh, boy. Oh lord, they're clear amulet. Hyper voice, eh. Who cares? That's not the threat right now. Well, but you're at plus one two now. Oh, great. You're not the threat right now, but you are a threat. And that does not do enough. Okay. Plus two crazy hit coming in. Gouging fire should still be faster. 
for all the good that does. I can heat crash them and make them even stronger if I wanted. How about a howl stomping tantrum? It's the best I got. Okay, we do outspeed. Now show me not Okoing Tinglu. Okay. Ah, uh, but Hyper Voice takes it. And it's a crit on Tinglu. Alright, Tinglu. Um. Uh, um, this is terrifying. Uh, we have the plus one heat crash ready to go. And a Rillaboom to threaten the other guy. Okay. Ugh. I I want to get greedy and howl. Backs should protect. And what's their swap in for a grass move? Incineroar. Do I try to cover for that kind of stuff? I'm behind enough. I'm just gonna click the attacking buttons. Okay, Primarina protects, not the backs. Plus one heat crash. Does it. Yeah, after Glaive Rush, it's doubled power too, so. <sighs> Alright. The threat is gone. But we also lost our biggest threat and our Terra. I'm a little surprised by that Protect. I guess they didn't want to give up their plus one. And they must have been targeting Rillaboom. Hoping they would survive. But you should have brought Incineroar. That's not Incineroar either. Hang on. That is not Incineroar. This might be a Rillaboom endgame I'm going for now. In which case, we're gonna howl. And we're gonna... Wood hammer into Ogre Pond? I, I, I have to assume Pre Marina's out of here. You have three grass resists. You brought one of them. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's just to follow me, though. Okay. I got a plus one glide for you next turn, Pre Marina. Or just a wood hammer since I confirmed now that I'm faster. Great. Alright, sorry about that recoil, Rillaboom. That's gonna be. Oh, that's not so bad. Hyper voice. Oh, it does take out gouging fire now. Okay. Good job, fire. You did a lot, actually. And now we're into Specs Flutter, but we can lock into whatever move we want and we get to see their last mod. Show me, like, uh, Raging Bolt? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. There we go. So what's your play out of this? You've got Protect on Primarina. I just moon, I'd moon blast 100%. And I... If I Grassy Glide, I can't get Electro Thunderclapped. Unless they're faster anyway. Which, that would be a lot of speed on Bolt, but it is doable. I've seen some fast Bolts. Just plus one Glide take Primarina? I don't think so. I'm gonna Wood Hammer. Thunderclap is into Fluttermane. That's not gonna do anything. This is a bulky Fluttermane. Goodbye. Oh, you live that. Whoa, okay. But Primarina's not living that. Goodbye, Primarina game is locked up. Alright. Yeah, if the if the paste is correct, this Fluttermane is really bulky. It's one of the slowest Fluttermanes I've seen, honestly. Yeah, that is some bulk on this Fluttermane. Good special attack investment still. Quite strong. 
and I'll just click Wood Hammer. Accurate. Good damage. Should knock you out. Cancelled battle. Good game. Get a trainer card, though. Alright. Oh. Chen Pao Dragonite, Chi Yu Fluttermane, Incineroar, and Raging Bolt. Uh, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Well, 2-2 two, two and a couple other pieces. Registeel is not good. They presumably have Sacred Sword on the Chen Pao. Gyarados seems okay. Gyarados should be pretty good against Chi Yu Fluttermane. Can intimidate the Chen Pao at least. Ting Lu seems pretty good. We would have to burn Poison Terra on it either way. That they go. Uh, maybe Gyarados Ting Lu is the way to go. Gouging Fire is okay. Like, they'll be scared to extreme speed into it. No, it's actually pretty good all around. I like that. Uh, Ting Lu, Gyarados in the back. And then the scariest thing is... Well, the scariest thing is Dragonite. So we're gonna bring Fluttermane. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a slow Fluttermane, so their Fluttermane's gotta be faster, most likely. But it's pretty good against the rest. All that bulk will probably save us from an Ice Spinner or something. Um, I like this. I don't really see much room for Rillaboom. A lot of things hurt it. Registeel against three crazy strong special attackers and a Chen Pao. That's not it. So these are the right four. Hopefully I put them in the right position, and hopefully I play them right. And that is a trainer card. Okay. I'll take it. You got Chi Yu Bolt. Oh, that is a cool combo. I like seeing that. Well, I mean, I'm terrified, but it's very cool. Okay, everyone's speed order seems to be correct. Alright, and no booster on their bolt. Now, presumably they have a dragon move of some kind on their bolt, which is a little scary. Uh, but I don't see their Chi Yu being very happy about this position. I'm pretty happy about the Ting Lu's position. So I think I'm happy to howl. Is Howl protect Greedy? Because I feel like they think Ting Lu's the threat. And they're right. I could get a free attack boost if they double it. It would also help me scout out any Terras they go for. And worst case scenario, I get the attack boost and then get like Draco Meteor on Gouging Fire. Which admittedly would hurt. Okay, Terra from the Chiyu into fighting. Fighting? Is this a Terra Blast? Alright, so that's how you adapt it to Incineroar. Got it! I think we're gonna take a Terra Blast and a Draco Meteor into Gouging Fire. Sorry, Gouging Fire. Actually, yeah, it is a Terra Blast. I'm not sorry. Dodge. Dodge. Dodge it. Dodge it. Get out the way. Get out the way! Thank you for your service, Gouging Fire. You got him to minus two, and you got us to plus one. We're in a great position. Despite being down a month. Uh, but now we just bring in Fluttermane. Who will get basically an uncontested hit against something. Maybe it should just be Dazzling Gleam. They don't really have a lot of swap-ins. They're both weak to fairy. I'm happy with Dazzling Gleam, and then a... Presumably Bolt would swap into maybe Incineroar. So I'm happy, happy to throw a Stomping Tantrum, but I, I would rather knock out Chi Yu. If Chi Yu goes down to Dazzling Gleam, then Stomping Tantrum will slide over. Yeah, Chi Yu just swaps. I didn't even bother tearing the Ting Lu. Uh, now show me not Dragonite, but also Dragonite would be fine. Ah, yes, we caught the Incineroar. Nice. Very nice. Yep, and just to protect from you, fine. Keep your minus two. 
I don't care. Now, Dazzling Gleam's not going to do much, but Stomping Tantrum at plus one will. A little bit of anti-synergy going on on my side. But, Incineroar is gone. Bye! This tells me that that Chiyu probably has a choice item of some kind. I would probably use, like, choice specs with fighting Terra Blast. Because I don't think you're going to knock out an Incineroar otherwise. Okay. You've got three fairy weaknesses left. Thank you. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. And I'm going to Intimidate and get this Vessel of Ruin off the field. Yeah. That seems like the play. Ting Lu can still be the cleanup crew, but Fluttermane is in a great position. Um, I guess half a Thunderclap plus an Intimidated Icicle Crash is their best bet. That's not gonna knock out Fluttermane though. Ice Shard? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. You don't know I'm slower than you. Yep, and just a Thunderbolt. Cool. Um, now would the double up knock out Flutter from here? Thunderclap would do less than Thunderbolt, but Ice Shard did them. Okay. Ice Spinner or Crunch or whatever probably would pick it up. But just Ice Spinner wouldn't. So I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. And in case Fluttermane goes down, should I Terra this? No. I'm gonna Thunder Wave their Chen Pao. Oh, okay, a swap. Oh, they want the, oh, they want the Chiyu boost on the Thunderclap. I got it. I see. They're not out of this yet. Oh, but you went for Gyarados. Well, even if you knocked out Gyarados, I was still dazzling gleaming. You have to stop the Flutter Mane. <laughs> you didn't stop the Flutter Mane. The Flutter Mane is the thing with the super effective moves on your whole team. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, okay. I would have traded Gyarados for that turn, but I didn't even have to. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Chen Pao, do your worst. You get spread moves, right? You get Blizzard, double freeze. Go for it. I dare you. You had Sucker Punch, and that knocks out, but you're at neutral now. You weren't you were at minus one before. Sucker Punch and Ice Shard, you like priority, huh? And Gyarados gets the final KO. Goodbye. Terrifying Chiyu is really cool. Uh, when it works, it doesn't work here. At least you have a trainer card, though. All right, we've got here a snow team. Uh, Nine Tails, Raging Bolt, Landorus, I, Farigarath, Incineroar, and Ogre Pond. I don't really see many Trick Room sweepers there. So I don't think it's a Trick Room team. That Farigarath might just be there for other reasons. Uh, how good are the two things I want to use? Gouging Fire and Ting Lu. Gouging Fire... I mean, they're both vulnerable to Intimidate. But so is most of this team. Do I have a way to stop Aurora Veil? Vale? I mean, I could just be faster and Heavy Slam. And this Flutter Mane is... Not necessarily faster. Heat Crash to stop them, maybe? I don't hate that. I, I do like this lead. I think it's good against most of those things, except maybe Water Ogre Pond. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. They probably will get Veil up. If they go with Incineroar and just fake out the Gouging Fire, they can get Veil up, but they'll trade their Ninetales for it. Other than that, I want something in the air. I guess I want Gyarados. And then... 
I think Rillaboom's actually nice. Just go full physical here. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'm going to try to take max advantage of this Howl. Uh, I don't know if this is really a Registeel game. They've got a lot of... Ooh, cool for Rigoraf. Is that a Safari Ball? Uh, what I was saying, I don't think this is a Registeel game. They've got too many strong special attackers. Yeah, and they would have been ready for the Rillaboom lead anyway with their Farigarath. But... This is not a bad position to be in. We can threaten the Heat Crash onto their Ninetales. But I don't think I actually want to click that. I'd be worried about them just going with a Terra or something. Or bringing in their, their Intimidate to try to take the hit better. Because with Intimidate, we don't have a lot of attack investment. And they have the Snow Boost. I think they would live. Yeah, our attack's not very high. Yet. So I want to Howl. And I will try to knock them out with a Heavy Slam. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. They do withdraw for Rigoraf. I'm guessing into Incineroar. Landorus. Okay. That's interesting. No Incineroar, no Terra. Maybe Heat Crash would have done it. But since you didn't Terra, Heavy Slam's definitely gonna do it. Plus one, four times effective. Through Veil, sure. Good. Ah! Sash. Okay. There was absolutely no way I was ever stopping Veil. I, I don't see any combination of things on this team that could have stopped that. They have everything they need to stop it. Let's see, I've got Terra Grass here. That doesn't feel great against Landorus. I could Bulwark. Yeah, I think I want to Bulwark and get a hit off. Probably into the Landorus. See how much a plus one payback will do. I don't fear Ninetales as much. Landorus is way stronger. And yeah, they're just clicking Icy Wind anyway. Okay. That should do next to nothing to Ting Lu. Eh, it wasn't nothing nothing. But I did read the Earth Power right at least. Now show me decent damage here. I know it's through Veil. Ooh, great damage actually. Okay. What is Heat Crash versus Landorus? Base power. I should just have a table up or something. It is max power. I think that means it would do it. So I'm gonna Heat Crash now. And who's your swap in for Ninetales if you were to leave? Rigraph isn't gonna wanna take a payback. So I don't hate payback into Ninetales. This should do it, I think. Yes, it does. Bye, Lando. Go ahead and get your speed control, because I'm going to take out two of your mons. No, they just go for Blizzard, so I get to keep my speed as well. And no freezes at all. I guess that would be one downside of Heat Crash. It doesn't thaw you. Like Flare Blitz does. Oh, and they just quit. Okay, I was wondering the other day why no one's using Ninetales and Articuno, but here it is. So let's find out why no one's using it. Hopefully we destroy it and that's why. They also got Ting Lu Grimmsnarl for screens. Oh, that's gonna be two possible screens users? Okay, they're getting screens. They're a, a Gouging Fire of their own and King Gambit. So Gyarados is a no. I don't want Gyarados against any of those, honestly. Registeel? Hang on, Registeel looks pretty good here. If their special attackers just have Blizzard, I like Registeel. Uh, I wish I had a way to shut down Aurora Veil. I don't, but Gouging Fire is not bad. Uh, Terra Grass isn't the best to be, but it'll do something. And Registeel's great. Registeel would mean I would want to bring Rillaboom. I don't want to bring Rillaboom.
Rillaboom and Registeel have great synergy. I guess Terra Fire Rillaboom could work. I'm gonna want to bring... T uh, Ting Lu is good, too. Yeah, maybe I bring Ting Lu and Registeel in the front. Lower that special attack. Set up my defense boosts. Let them get any screens they want. Gouging Fire in the back with... Better da 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 Not Fluttermane. It's Rillaboom. I guess it is Rillaboom. I have high horsepower. I could hit some stuff. The Articuno is threatening, but... Even if I brought something that can hit Articuno, I'm just gonna miss. I have no way to get rid of this weather. Oh, that's a cool card. Good job. Alright. Grimmsnarl and... Oh, it's that Cherish Ball Grimmsnarl. And a Gouging Fire. Versus my Registeel and Ting Lu. They are booster... Speed? It is speed, okay. I would rather see speed. I would also prefer never to get burned, thank you. Heavy Slam on Grimmsnarl. Uh, do I Terra right away? What do they have that hits water types really hard? Not really anything. Do I need Terra really badly on anything else? I've got a couple ice weaknesses. Do I risk the burn and stomping right away? I think I will. I don't want to give them any momentum. I want to get going. If they were to like set up a howl or something and, and start boosting alongside me, I would need the damage. So Registeel is going reg of water. We are liquid metal. Yep, and they just set up Reflect. Okay. I mean, that's the right screen. But it's not a Burning Bulwark. It's just a Breaking Swipe. That's not going to drop either of our attacks. We've got Clear Amulet and Clear Body. That is the best turn one we could ask for. Yeah, that's damage. That is, in fact, damage. That's a three shot. But now you know you didn't drop any of our attack stats, so you want to either Bulwark or swap out. And I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna Heavy Slam Grimmsnarl now, and... Do I set up another one? How are we trained? Very, very defensively. But we got time. I might as well. I'm gonna have to go through their Reflect, so I'm gonna need extra damage. Okay, it's just Thunder Wave. If it was Taunt or something, you would've thrown that turn one. You're just breaking swiping again. Okay, you did you didn't pay attention. You don't know that doesn't do anything. Oh, and that's a two shot. Beautiful. But I'm happy to keep you on the field. And now that we're paralyzed, we can't be burned. Which is very cool. Do I want to bring in Rillaboom now to get the grass and a fake out turn? No. But what I do want to do, I want to not take damage on Ting Lu just now. While I get my third iron defense. I don't want to knock out Grim Snarl and give them a free swap. They can't parting shot if they have it. I don't think they would have it. This might just be a spirit break turn. Yep. Just breaking swipe again. Go for it. Don't care. Yeah, and spirit break into Ting Lu. Okay, that's fine. I'll probably get Ting Lu out now. Now that I'm at plus six and I can start getting some KOs. I think plus six through Reflect should take. Uh, should it? Um, plus two, plus four. I think it'll be close. I think it'll be real close. I don't want to bring in my own Gouging Fire, so it's Rillaboom. No point in Ting Lu taking extra damage here, and I'll body press the Gouging Fire. You can go ahead and Bulwark, it's not gonna burn me, because you paralyzed me. Thank you for that. Though I'm sure it'll come to bite me later. And now I have even more healing that I don't need yet. Ah, going for Howl. 
boosting your Grim Snarl. Weird. This will actually do pretty good damage now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you gotta go. And body press does it. Excellent. What's the timing like on this reflect? Because I could either go straight after the Grim Snarl now that it's at plus one, or I could fake it out and leave it on the field another turn. It is Articuno. I want to body press the Articuno. Articuno's the threat. Reflect is at one or four turns. I think I want to Woodhammer the Grim Snarl. It might be a swap into Ninetales or something. So I'd rather get damage off. They would just Blizzard maybe. Either way, Body Press is going into that Articuno. Alright, just a Thunder Wave on Terrillaboom. Are you just going for raw blizzards, or maybe you have freeze dry? Hayes! That makes sense. Alright, let's see how much damage we do at neutral. Oh, the first wood hammer. Yeah, by Grim Snarl. Oh boy, Hayes. That's annoying. Now, you don't have Snow Cloak available yet, so this body press should hit and do basically nothing through Reflect. Gotcha. Oh, they don't even have Snow up yet. Oh boy. No Ninetales at all. That is a good thing to see. They're definitely using Terra on that King Gambit though. Alright, so if, if Body Press isn't doing it, how are we knocking out that Articuno? Well, they're right here, they're gonna burn Terra on their King Gambit. I would love to see what it is. Should I get out? Not yet. I think Rillaboom is the most expendable member of the party at the moment. So I'm gonna throw a wood hammer and a body press at this King Gambit. Oh, just a freeze dry into Rillaboom, which we eat. You doubled into Rillaboom. Okay, I just said he was expendable and you didn't care up. And I'm going for body press. And I'm fully paralyzed. It's all good. It's fine. Who cares? That's fine. Who cares? We've got gouging fire. We're good. We're fine. You didn't Terra. Did you Terra already? No. You have a bad Terra on King Gambit? Because I have body presses ready to go. It should knock you out. I don't know if I need a boost. Uh, I guess you still have Reflect up for two more turns. So maybe you can take it. Yeah, Heat Crash Articuno. Don't care what the power is, I'm not gonna Breaking Swipe. And Body Press into King Gambit. Let's see. You can't tear them both. Looking it up now, Heat Crash is max power on Articuno. Shouldn't KO through Reflect at all or anything, but... It's fairy. You're fairy. At least we get the heat crash. Through reflect won't KO, but does a lot of damage. Freeze dry. Sure, he's not important anymore now that you're fairy. And kowtow into registeel. Fine. You, they keep going after the thing that I don't consider to be important. That's fine by me. I'll probably Bulwark now. Get rid of their last turn of Reflect. Bait out any Terra, uh, not Terra, any Protect they might have on that Articuno. And if they double into Registeel or something, Freeze Dry knocks it out. Tau Tau Cleave will then burn their King Gambit, which would be great for me. Otherwise, I think I'll throw a Heavy Slam at the Articuno. Just to get something out of the way. Just, like, just in case that they don't protect or something. If 
they protect and what kowtow cleave my registeel that doesn't knock out and you just burn a turn of your own reflect well, i don't think they would go for that play okay they have roost that's fine you're still in heat crash range and they did do that play i guess they are scared of being burned Maybe that would have been a turn to use Iron Defense, actually. Get a little bit of healing back, get out of King Gambit's range. Well, this is definitely a heat crash into Articuno. I will go for the Iron Defense now. Why not? Make things a little more difficult for them. Heat crash takes Articuno, beautiful. Kowtow Cleave is now into Registeel again. You really hate Registeel, even though my body press isn't going to do anything to you. Alright, we took out Articuno, we took out Grimmsnarl, and we took... Yeah, this is their last. Cool. And they know we have Ting Lu left. They've only been kicking, clicking Kowtow Cleave onto Registeel. I don't know what other moves they have. They have Terra Blast, that would be a little annoying. But is Heat Crash max power on that? It's only a hundred power on that. I could howl. I'll go howl protect. It, it's a little risky. Maybe they target Gouging Fire here. But I want to cover for Terra Blast here. If they have Terra Blast, they don't have to touch my Burning Bulwark either. Cool. Now, a plus one Heat Crash. And, I mean, I guess I Heavy Slam? Good luck, King Gambit. Uh, not enough. Yeah, this Terra Blast is gonna hurt. Alright, just eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Ting Lu, you're a beast! <laughs> Ting Lu is a beast! Goodbye, King Gambit. Woo! Alright, we're back here with the rental code. Thank you, Chawarzard. This team is so good. <laughs> I felt great using this team. Every single one of these guys put in their work. And I basically went 4-0. But the one match that disconnected actually gave me a loss somehow. I don't know if my internet went wrong or if they disconnected in a certain way that made them get a W. But I don't know. I feel like I was in a great position there. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope you like this team. There's the rental code for you if you want to use it. Like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.